Art. MTC. Example Reading. Chapter 4 History and Education 0.1 Children sometimes see and say things to please adults, teachers must realize this and the power it implies. Teachers who prefer that children see beauty as they themselves do are not encouraging a sense of aesthetics in children. They are fostering uniformity and obedience. 0 and ly children who choose and evaluate for themselves can truly develop their own aesthetic taste. Just as becoming literate is a basic goal of education, one of the key goals of all creative early childhood programs is to help young children develop the ability to speak freely about their own attitudes, feelings, and ideas about art. Each child has a right to a personal choice of beauty, joy, and wonder. Aesthetic development takes place in secure settings free of competition and adult judgment. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Chapter 4 History and Education 0.01 Three quarters of the babies in the world learn more than one language. 4.3 Some learn four or five at the same time. That amazes people who are used to living in a community where only one language is spoken, but it's all perfectly normal. We have to think of it from the baby's point of view. All they know is that people are talking to them. They have no idea that the words belong to different languages. They won't realize that until they're older. If mummy speaks one way and daddy speaks another and the lady in the shop speaks in a third way, so what? They're only words. After all, babies pick it all up naturally, like breathing. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Chapter 4 History and Education 0.02. There is an old Chinese proverb which says to teach is to learn twice. Dot. It is well known that various types of teaching have various levels of effectiveness from passively listening to actively doing. But the most effective way to learn is to teach someone else what you know. If you can set up in your classroom frequent opportunities for the students to teach each other, then it accelerates what they learn. By making the nature of the work interesting and dynamic, it automatically improves behavior management. By giving students teaching opportunities it helps them to usefully channel their excess energy and it also helps with confidence building. MTC Good job! Let's start. MTC Chapter 4 History and Education 0.03 Since hair had spiritual connotations in many ancient cultures, people who worked with hair were trusted and important members of their communities. In Africa, where a person's spirit was believed to reside in his or her hair, hairdressers were held in high esteem. People with a talent for hairdressing were encouraged to develop their skills so that they could serve others this way. Hairdressers developed close relationships with people as they spent hours washing, combing, oiling, styling, and ornamenting their hair. Male hairdressers served men, while women worked only with women. Before a master hairdresser died, he or she would give his or her combs and other tools to a chosen successor during a special ceremony. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Chapter 4 History and Education 0.04 Pocahontas was actually a nickname, one of four names that the famous Indian girl had throughout her life. Pocahontas Although known today as Pocahontas, meaning mischievous one, her given name was Amonut. Pocahontas, Amonut. Yet she also kept the secret spiritual name Matoka, and when baptized and married she took the name Rebecca. Madoka, Rebika. She was never able to tell her own story, but Pocahontas's legend endures 400 years later and grows stronger with each new generation. Pocahontas 400 As an 11 or 12-year-old girl in the early 1600s, and one of the many children of the ruling chief Powhatan of present-day Virginia, Pocahontas lived during a time of great change for her people a time of war and struggle with the English colonists of the Jamestown settlement. 16001112, Virginia Powhatan Pocahontas, Jamestown. MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. 
Chapter 4 History and Education 0.05 Howardson noted that historians are far from objective when they write about historical events. Howardson Presented with an infinite amount of information, historians choose what to report, emphasize, and interpret about the past. The information historians leave out of books may be just as important as what they include. In fact, the choice to exclude information may create stereotypes, myths, and cultural biases, or strengthen stereotypes that are already common. Historians often emphasize historical information that supports their own values and beliefs or that supports the beliefs that are dominant in their societies. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Chapter 4 History and Education 0.06 Painting, architecture, and sculpture often dominate our sense of the Renaissance. Yet this cultural movement became visible to many through a new world of fashion fueled by a passion for innovative ideas in dialogue with classical traditions. In daily life, dress possessed immediate visual appeal and increasingly offered choice. Clothes were immensely colorful, which made them attractive to look at. New materials, cutting, and sewing techniques transformed tailoring. Clever merchants created wider markets for innovations and chic accessories. Art depicted humans on an unprecedented scale, paying tribute to real-world experiences. Mirrors led more people to try to imagine what they looked like. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Chapter 4 History and Education 0.07 no matter how it is presented, designed, and implemented, technology does play an ever-increasing and necessary role in higher education. Nevertheless, every university teacher faces at least four common areas of academic concern, preparing and organizing courses, teaching and providing assignments, assessing student learning, and evaluating the effectiveness of teaching. In the present day, in all areas of the curriculum, Teachers must teach an information-based inquiry process to meet the demands of the technology age. Meeting this challenge will be impossible unless educators are willing to join the revolution and embrace the new technology tools available. Higher education in general and faculty members in particular must be the leaders in the integration of technology in diverse learning environments. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Chapter 4 History and Education 0.08 In the middle of the 17th century Holland, with the most powerful fleet in the world, was able to fully develop a colonial system and reach the pinnacle of her might. 1.7 Soon her main rival, the rapidly developing England, possessed economic superiority over Holland. The struggle between these countries reached its climax in the wars known as the Anglo-Dutch Wars. The arena of the main engagements was the North Sea. After several sea battles won by the English, Holland was forced to concede defeat. She then became a second-rate colonial power. 2. In fact, her fate was sealed by the victory of the industrial capital of England over the commercial capital of Holland, the military expression of which was the superiority of the English fleet. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Chapter 4 History and Education 0.09 When children get upset, they cannot be reached by reasoning. When angry, they respond only to emotional bomb. Two young siblings were playing in the basement. Suddenly a noise of destruction, followed by shouting and accusation, was heard. Red with anger, Billy, age 6, ran up the stairs and exclaimed, Betsy knocked over my fort. 6 Billy Betsy. Dot. His mother sympathized, oh, that must have made you very angry. Dot. It sure did he turned around and went back to play. Dot. This was the first time Billy's mother managed not to get involved in her children's daily quarrels. Billy. By not asking the fatal question who started it. She avoided her son's usual recital of grievances and requests for revenge. By mirroring his inner mood, she avoided the disagreeable role of becoming judge, prosecutor, and law enforcer to her children. 
MTC. Good job. Let's start. MTC. Chapter 4 History and Education 0.10 The importance of Christopher Columbus's voyage in 1492 cannot be exaggerated. 1492 Christopher Columbus It established a permanent link between two entire ecosystems that had evolved in isolation from each another for almost 10,000 years. 10, 000. The initial impact on the inhabitants of the Americas was catastrophic. Eurasian diseases and the infamous brutality of the Spanish conquistadors slaughtered the population. A remarkably small number of European invaders conquered the most sophisticated American states with startling ease, laying potentially the entire New World open to European exploitation and colonization. However, the arrival of European sailors in Asia did not have the same dramatic impact. Powerful countries, including India, Imperial China, the Mughal Empire, and the Japanese shogunate at first merely tolerated the Europeans as traders, allowing them to control only a few islands or enclaves along the coast, as long as they did not interfere or become too troublesome. MTC Good job! Let's start! MTC Chapter 4 History and Education 0.11 Think of how you hold a pencil. Maybe your teacher was very strict with all her students, and you could only hold the pencil one way or you'd get in trouble. That pencil holding technique was likely ingrained, and you'd find it uncomfortable to hold a pencil any other way. Or maybe you like skiing and decide to take some lessons, despite having skied already for a number of years. You may be surprised to discover that your posture and form aren't good. Your instructor will have to work harder to get you to change your form than if she was teaching a person who never skied before. That's because your muscles have learned a certain way of skiing that you now have to unlearn in order to pick up the correct form. So the next time you are learning something new, make sure you do it the correct way the first time around. That way you don't have to learn it twice. MTC Good job. Let's start. MTC Chapter 4 History and Education 0.12 Rites of passage are not a rational activity. They are designed to bring physical and emotional energy to a climax, bonding a group. They produce an experience, not an aha. Corporations have produced ropes course events to provide a physical challenge. Some groups have also included an emotional challenge of revealing deep fears and significant life-changing events. The key here is that all candidates are on trial and are made to believe their ordeal together is really tough. Whatever the ordeal, it should make good storytelling material. The physical events produce courage as a byproduct and an abiding sense that as a team anything can be accomplished. The emotional events remind participants of affection, honesty, and the feeling of belonging to a family. The combined result can be an organization unafraid to face new challenges together and able to communicate honestly about things that are not working. Reading Power, 2020, Chapter 5 Environment and Health 1. Q. MTC. Good job.